Hi, this is Psycho Two Week Twenty One Great Artists. Um, week Twenty. I'm sorry, Johannes Brahms is our composer this week, and this is the first Romantic composer that we are going to study. Um, so I would review what defines that Romantic period from Week Nineteen that we talked about, just since we're getting into it. Johannes Brahms was also from Germany. Um, he followed after Beethoven and it took him 20 years to release his first opera because he felt like he could not live up to Beethoven and his standards. He played piano in restaurants from age 13 and he loved food and wrote his third symphony after a delicious meal, which is kind of a fun fact. Um, in our blue folder or red folder, we have his picture and then also um, you have the option of the five minute Mozart, which is a, not even five minutes, it's probably three. Or you have the little short Life of the Musicians. I'll say it again just to make sure um, to read it over. There are some notes in it, um, but just adjust it according to your class level. Today we're going to make a paper plate tambourine. So each child's going to need two, I did this, but um, going to need two paper plates and five to 10 pennies per child, a hole puncher, and if you have one of these at home, please bring them in, because we are going to need a few of them today. I have one, um, and I'm sure some other people do. So if you do this week, can you text it out, because um, we're gonna need a bunch, that'd be great. I have paint and paint brushes. I don't think we need to do that. I think we're just gonna use markers. That's just gonna be a lot easier. Um, so markers, and then I think these tacky glues are gonna work the best. There's also a glue stick option. I would not use regular Elmer's glue though. I would use this or a glue stick because it's too stuck. And then we need um, the week 21 bag, which is gonna have jingle bells and ribbon in it for you. Um, so I would say that the first thing, um, that I would actually do is have kids run. The reason that this one's so good is because it's got this really fine tip. Come here and see you. All right, so I, yes, okay. So see how I'm running it right along the edge of the tape, of the plate? That's what you wanna do, not necessarily around the whole thing, but around most of it. And then I would let that dry. So I'm gonna like push it together. So I'm gonna do a little bit of glue in my hands and that's okay. Um, just have the wipes ready. And if you need more wipes, just let us know. We can get you some. Um, but yeah, so let that dry because that's really what you wanna do. So I would let that dry and then actually like, let's learn about Johannes Brahms. So that would be my first thing. Let that dry. Okay, so that's dry. You've gone over it. Maybe you can listen to his symphony number no. four on YouTube once. Um, just to kind of run through it for maybe a minute or two. And then you're gonna come back, and most kids, the little kids are not gonna be able to do this. Um, and you know what, for the little kids, you might not even want to do this part. I think that if you just gave them, glued it, and then let them colored it, um, and then they just need to have a little spot, their pennies need to go inside. It's gonna be like a tambourine, it's gonna make noise. Or you can just put the jingle bells and the pennies inside and then it'll make all different noise. And that's probably good enough for them. Um, they can use the ribbon just to decorate the outside maybe. For the bigger kids, um, everyone else, I think that you can all do this. So you're gonna take, there it is, um, and you're gonna make some punches. Uh, I mean, I don't know, 10-ish. This picture has a ton. I don't think you need that many. Um, but that's the idea. So you're gonna punch around. And then um, you're gonna grab some ribbon. It can be different colored ribbon. It can be the same ribbon. And I'll undo this one so you kinda get the idea. So you just are gonna start it and you're just gonna weave it through. And really there's not like a right or wrong on this. So if some kid says like, I'm gonna weave it this way, that's totally fine. Um, but you're gonna weave it in and out. And if you want, you each kid gets five to 10 jingle belts and those can, just um there's a little loop on it so those can also loop into it um and then you can tie it off on the end or you can have people help and then you're going to decorate it with markers so just put a name label somewhere on this or the kids can write their name but put a name label somewhere so everyone knows whose it is and um, symphony number four is on youtube 
And so just pull that up and make sure that it listens to that once or twice. I think that's it. This one's pretty easy. If you have any questions, let me know. Um,